sorry friends so I lied I'm gonna just do another video um, and um, make this part two of my pregnancy update for April 14th oh, nope April 13th 2016 um, so aside from Monday's false labor um, how am I feeling oh my goodness I am I'm out of breath most of the time actually I've been out of breath since Monday um, could be because um, of the all the commotion that happened since Monday um, we're trying to like you know get our things together get the house ready um, we even did a whole revamp of our house. It's so crazy. This nesting thing is crazy. We bought new furniture, which is arriving tomorrow. Um, we re rearranged the living room. My husband is, we're trying to clear all these things. And on top of that, I'm trying to get everything at work situated so I can just go on my leave and be good for three months without work. Um, it's just crazy, like, yeah, this nesting thing, and it's just crazy, but I think I came, I'm, I've come to a point where I'm not going to do a lot more, um, at this point, as far as getting stuff ready, I'm just going to do what I need to do, I'm having my husband do all, a lot of stuff now, um, I can still do chores that I can you know that lets me allows me to sit or take up a lot of breaks like laundry I can do laundry but walking is exercise is, is almost non-existent um and that's not because I don't have motivation or I don't feel like it I am winded I am truly truly winded walking so we live upstairs in a townhouse and walking going up and down the stairs just to my car is exhausting talking to you guys and catching my breath is exhausting oh my gosh so imagine me trying to buy groceries at Costco no I can't um, I can't do that by myself anymore. Cooking, standing to cook is hard because what will happen, my stomach will get tight, which is a contraction, right? He'll start to press down, possibly because either because my son's a lot heavier than before, he's supposed to work his way down, gravity and because of the contraction, he's pro is probably pushing him down more. And if you've ever been pregnant and you feel that pressure, it is not comfortable to stand, let alone do squats. So, yeah, I, I mean, if I did exercise, and I actually did um, this past weekend, um, it would be all off upper body sitting down <laughs> which is still you know when you're pregnant 35 weeks and you're as big as I am measuring I'm I'm 35 weeks one day but I'm measuring at 41 weeks so my belly is big my belly looks like it's gonna pop already and I hope not not yet he's not ready yet but I mean it's okay for him to come any day now but uh, no he should stay in there longer, at least a couple more weeks. It wouldn't be nice for him to be 37 weeks or 38 weeks, you know. Oh, okay, sorry. Add another contraction. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, exercise. I mean, I still do my walks five minutes at a time. And... After that, I have to sit down already and just take a break. Um, I've been napping more, a lot more. Like, it's really hard to not fall asleep because I'm so winded. 
I'm out of breath and I'm just tired. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, exercise is not because I don't want to or I'm too lazy. It's because I can't. I but I it's not like I don't try. I do try. Yeah. But at least my nutrition is getting better. Um getting better meaning I'm not skipping um, I've stopped skipping my snacks, my evening snacks. That was the only thing that was probably um, wrong with my nutrition. Everything else has been on point with only uh, one once a week treat meals or cheating, um, as I said in the previous video. With an exception, I did try um, an experiment. I had ice cream vegan ice cream from Ben and Jerry's so good my favorite right now so far is peanut butter and Oreo um, ice cream and one of the ladies um, at my at the clinic the nurses they they've had gestational diabetes and read on the forums that ice cream actually helps them um, keep their fasting sugars down so she had ice cream it worked for her I had ice cream it worked for me um, that's not to say that it happens for everyone, but I, it was just an experiment. So guess what? I can have ice cream. Not every night, though. I'll have it maybe twice a week. Maybe. Well, right now, that I just ran out of that ice cream, so I'll have to wait until I get it again. Um, but yeah, fasting, glucose, um, so far so good with insulin. I already talked about that in the previous video. You can go ahead and watch that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so exercise, definitely, yeah, and I'm out of breath. Um, hmm. I'm debating whether or not I should go on leave early, and I'm actually not sure. Um, I know the longer I stay at work, the better, because then I can stay out longer. Um, I'll rack up more um, paid time off hours um, and won't have to worry about money as much. But it's, it is getting harder. And, and in the beginning, I said I was going to work through my pregnancy. Then two weeks ago, I said I wanted to work up until a week before I'm supposed to give birth. Now I'm saying I only want to work up until the end of the month. And I don't know if, financially speaking, I don't know if we could do that. I don't know. We could. We could. I don't know if I want to do that. But it's it's probably going to lean more towards, yes, only work through the end of the month and then stop working at. Um, so that would take me to, that would let me... Sorry. I would be working up until um, the 29th of April. Yeah. Yeah. So the work can be demanding. Um, I don't have labor intensive work. I sit at a desk most of the time. I do have to drive far for work at least once a week. Um, so that can be taxing. Um, but just the stress, I am in upper management, so the stress from work um, can be really taxing. Um, I think the first time I had my non-stress test, that was the first time I had my false labor. So I've had two. The first time was the first day, first day of the non-stress test series. And before I went to that non-stress test, I was stressed at work dealing with some emergency so I went to work stress I mean work went to the clinic stress and then yep sure enough had contractions so I gotta just take it easy yeah I just gotta take it easy already um well we'll see we'll see I will update you folks again later this week because we're supposed to um because I'm measuring a lot bigger than my um than I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to measure at 35 weeks. 35 to 37 is okay, but I'm measuring at 41 weeks. My belly is measuring 41 centimeters. Um, 
So they're going to do an ultrasound to see how big, how big baby is right now. Um, I'm hoping he's not too big. I'm hoping that, um, I mean, based on his last measurements, he's fine. But you never know, especially with gestational diabetes. And it's nothing that, it's the hormones. It's the hormones. But let's just hope and pray that um, he's not too big, that I'll have to be induced sooner. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it for now. Um, I will update you folks on probably Friday, Friday or Saturday. Yeah, getting excited for my, our baby moon that we can actually go on this weekend. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed that pregnancy update. Um, that is actually um, two of two videos. Um, the first video was um, longer than it should have been, but I didn't want to cut any of it because I would just be remaking the video and whatever, whatever. So if you want to see that um, first uh, part one of my pregnancy update at 35 weeks pregnant, please go to my Facebook like page at Jennifer Doria. Um, this is the link down here below. Um, I'll put something. And um, yeah, go ahead and watch that. I give a more detailed um, update as far as what happened from Monday to today. Well, basically just Monday. It was a long story, but trust me, you're going to want to watch it. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. Um, watch it. Don't want it. Watch it. Um, but it's me documenting my pregnancy update. Okay. So maybe, yeah, maybe you'll check it out. And But this video will be on YouTube and on Facebook. So check it out and see you guys later. Bye.